Hello guys and welcome back to a new Applied and Logistics 2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a look at the ME Extended Pattern Provider from the Extended AE um, add-on for Applied and Logistics 2 and um, if we take a look we can see in that we need um, an ME Extended Pattern Provider for the attached one and we can create out of in the, this um, we need. Okay, we start again 1, 2 and 3. Hello guys and welcome back to new Applied and Logistics 2 tutorial and in this episode we want to take a look at the ME Extended Pattern Provider. This ME Extended Pattern Provider we can create with ME Pattern Provider with two capacity cards and at least one engineering processor. And if you take a little remember you can use this pattern provider to auto craft some things for normal auto crafting or if you want to um, connect it to a machine to interact with in this machine and um, there you can also use this pattern provider we can uh, take a look we have uh, here a normal me pattern provider from apply on 62 and you can see that you can store in uh, one row of patterns that means you can store in nine patterns each ME pattern provider okay and if we take a look at the ME extended provi pattern provider from, from um, extended AE we can see that we have four walls and at least 36 um, patterns um, which we can um, use to interact with this machine okay and um, we can see we have a fully installed um, automation and uh, auto crafting system and um, if we go to our pattern encoding terminal and encode some cobblestone to stone to interact with our machine um, and um, place this pattern um, this processing pattern into our ME extended pattern provider we can use it to create some stone for example um, for this we need some oh, okay um, from the last job we had um, opened some in stone that's from the German tutorial and if we want to use it like this we can set up 10 stones and um, that's fine okay and if we take a look we can see um, that it is imported or exported to our ultimate smelting factory for a mechanism and we can see that it will smelt down and um, this stone but um, if you want to use it right you need to configure it and that it will go directly back so that uh, output input and output that's and that's fine but you need to configure the side config and support a config okay 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 Input and output, and that's okay, but you need to auto eject on. Okay, and now it will go back directly to your ME system. So that means if you take a look at the crafting status, you can see it um, will um, update it, and um, that's fine. And that's how you can use it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye.